The oceans cover 70% of the planet. Beautiful, mysterious, inspirational, and precious. The oceans sustain the earth and ourselves. Among the most fantastic ecosystems in the ocean are coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea. Coral reefs are unique for their high biodiversity, productivity, and incredible beauty. These ecosystems harbor thousands of species of important plants and animals, protect our shores from waves and storms, create beautiful coral sand beaches, and inspire us throughout our lives. Unfortunately, these incredible habitats are being threatened by an amazing variety of human impacts, including pollution, damage by anchors, overfishing, and global warming. In order to better manage these ecosystems, we need reliable information on their health. We need a trained core of reef surveyors. We need Quest. Let's take a dive and I'll tell you about QUEST. QUEST stands for Quantitative Underwater Ecological Survey Techniques. QUEST is a college course offered by the University of Hawaii on the Big Island of Hawaii's Hilo campus. The intent of QUEST is to teach students how to conduct safe team diving and collect scientifically accurate data on the abundance and distribution of coral reef organisms. The course runs for two weeks in late May and consists of three main components, lectures, diving, and synthesis. Let's take a closer look at each part of the course. Ecology coral reefs, which is easily a lifetime worth of work, but we'll endeavor to get the highlights. Uh, what I'd like to do is cover basically these five things. First, discussing the importance of coral reefs, focusing uh, primarily on their biology. A lot of you may have had this, but let's go back through it. Thinking about some of the patterns you might see. A lot of you have a lot of experience in the water already. Think about those. Um, Leon will talk about fish. The only real difference from the normal protocols for dive teams is on the very last day when we're at Mahukona. And on the last day there, the normal six teams will be reorganized into four super teams. And notice, as with all of the dive plans that we'll be discussing, we're just going to go through a couple of them to show you how they're kind of organized and how, what they have in common. We have the basic dive rules for all dives. We have the dive synopsis, which essentially explains exactly what's involved with doing the surveys. If you haven't really done a lot of work underwater, you're not, if you're not used to doing a lot of tasks, it's real easy to forget about your air when you're down there. You're, really, you know, you're counting invertebrates, you're IDing your coral, you're laying your transect line, you're putting your quadrats down, you're taking pictures, you're doing all this great stuff. As the reef grows, 
would basically erode into the ocean, and islands would basically erode into the ocean. All measures of how far the day. One of the unique elements of Quest is that students learn through hands-on experiences. After lectures, students take to the grass to practice surveying methods. Here, students are rolling out the transect line and positioning a quadrat, a rectangular grid of known area with an attached underwater camera. This photo quadrat is used as one method to survey the abundance of coral on a reef. After practice, students get to try the real method underwater. After three days of lecture, we head over to the Kona Coast for five days of diving on the beautiful reefs of Puaco. During this phase, the students practice what they have learned by collecting real data underwater. Each day begins with a group dive briefing, short workout, and then it's down to the beach for the day's dive. Okay, um, we're doing rapid visual um, transects today, and um, the teams will enter at their assigned access sites and swim out on the surface until they are approximately over their assigned height of the back. Check the camera, make sure that the thing is not locked, make sure it's open and on. You can look kind of like down at the camera and see if it's got the lock button all the way over. Quest focuses on several different surveying techniques. In the invertebrate surveying dive, students deploy a transect line along a pre-selected compass heading. Quadrats are randomly positioned along the transect, and all invertebrates within the quadrat are counted to obtain an estimate of abundance.
So what do you think about Quest, Dave? Well, I think it's an excellent training program for our young divers. Uh, it, it really teaches our divers to work well in a, uh, a task-oriented manner and introduces them to the, the differences between workplace diving for scientific projects as opposed to just recreational diving. I think it's the best training program at the UH system for our working divers. I think Quest is a great opportunity for students. It's a great time for faculty and students to get together. It's a wonderful thing. It's great to be here. Yeah, I don't think it's as intense as I thought it would be. I'm having a lot more fun than I expected. In one word. Great experience. Great time. Awesome. One word. Awesome. <laughs> experience. Intense. Um, it's a creative. It's fun. <laughs> After the data are collected, everyone packs up and heads back to the Hilo campus for the final synthesis of theory and reality. During this crucial phase, students are challenged with statistical analysis and biological interpretation of their survey data.
At the end of the course, students become teachers and present their findings to the entire group. And on the y-axis, we have a number of individuals. This is the total number of individuals reported by the whole class. At the visual transit, we had a sample size of eight or less. Since the uh, RBT method was performed a day later, do you think that there's a possibility that a lot of the surveyors could have learned over a day's period? This was at the least 20 points for us event. Comparative data that we can look back on, older digitation to compare our data. And here to this person who is, this is not in Quest 95. This you can see that for these Nevada, Hardy's Compressa, Turf Algae, Corlin Algae were most of our surveys. I think it was a lot of work, but I think it was definitely worth it. I learned a lot in terms of leadership as a team leader this year. And I hope to implement that in working with the community. Lots of hard work. Lots of hard work. Learned a lot. The quest is done. The quest was awesome. I had a really good time. I thought it was great. The uh, quest was a great experience. Good uh, opportunity to just kind of get some ideas out there and get a better basis. If you are interested in taking quests, please contact the Marine Option Program at the University of Hawaii or visit their website for more information. The Reefs need our help.